Hey guys, what's going on? This is Travis. I'd like to welcome you back to my B channel. And it's been a while since we've had a video on this channel. My wife and I have had a house move and uh, wife had a career change. And so we're not really starting over again, but we are in a new place. And so there's been a bit of a delay getting the videos out. And for that, I apologize. But today, guys, we're going to feature a new coffee drink. Well, these came out about mid-February, and I have no idea how this slipped under the radar. This is the Starbucks Nitro Cold Brew. Now, you can get this like as a draft-style tapper drink in the Starbucks uh, coffee shops if you go there. Now, me, I try to stay loyal to Black Rifle Coffee Company and Blackout Coffee Company. So I don't do a whole lot of Starbucks, but once in a while when I'm on the road, if I want a cold coffee, I want something kind of refreshing, I really do like the Nitro Cold Brew. I've had it unsweetened and also regular. If you've never had it before, let's just say if you've ever had Guinness, uh, it really does taste a lot like Guinness. It's kind of weird, but without the alcohol in it, it's smooth, it, uh, it's kind of toasty on the back end, kind of malty, and uh, it's delicious. And so we're gonna try this out of a can. Now these cans are nitro charged. Uh, this is uh, dark caramel, black sweet is what it says on the label. They also have a sweet vanilla cream and then also just a regular black. 155 milligrams of caffeine in the dark caramel and the black. Uh, which is about two and a half times the caffeine just as a comparison to a couple Folgers coffee, just to kind of throw it out there. 110 milligrams of caffeine for the uh, sweet cream. Nutritional information, 45 calories for one can, uh, eight grams of total sugar, which is not a lot, 10 grams of total carbohydrates, one gram of protein, a little bit of calcium thrown in there too. It says, gently tilt can uh, once, pop open and pour into a cold glass for maximum enjoyment, and we're gonna do just that. Uh, refrigerator after opening for best taste, drink chilled by date on can. Cold brewed Starbucks coffee, water, coffee, sugar, natural flavors, and nitrogen. So they do put that on the ingredients list. And then finally it says, uh, our cold brew is infused with nitrogen the moment you open it, creating a rush of creamy texture. We've added a touch of dark caramel flavor and sweetness that perfectly complements the super smooth black coffee. So we'll be looking for that flavor if it's there because I notice in the, the vanilla sweet cream nitro coffees that you get or the sweetened coffees you get in the Starbucks uh, uh, little, little coffee shops that there's not a whole lot of flavor to it. It's just creamy, but that's about it. So we'll see if the caramel flavor actually comes through. So let's go ahead and crack this open and let's see what happens. All right, here we go. Moment of truth. We got ourselves a frosty pint glass from Lakewood Brewing Company down there in Texas. Fantastic brewery. You guys need to check it out. One of my favorites. So we're going to go and tilt it one time. We're gonna open it up. Now, if you've never had the nitro charged um, coffee before from Starbucks, it, uh, it has kind of a cascading effect, which is kind of unusual in the glass. We'll see if this actually does the same thing when we pour it. It's got a nice froth to it. Uh, nitrogen charged coffees, again, if you've never tried them, it's not bubbly like a soda, okay? It's not nearly as fizzy. It's just more smooth than anything. And uh, it's one of those things where it might even taste kind of flat if you've never had one before, but that's the nature of the beverage. I can see the bubbles in it right now too. All right, so not super, not much of a head on it. Oh, there we go. Uh, let's see here. Let's kind of get close up for you so you can take a look at it. $3.99 is what I paid for the can. Yeah, it's got that, it's got that bubbly charge in there, but it's not, I don't quite see that little effect like you do with the uh, the other coffees. Maybe we need to try the vanilla sweet cream and see if it does that too. All right, here it goes. Okay, the caramel taste is definitely there. Coffee taste is definitely there, obviously. Smooth. The froth has pretty much dis disappeared here quickly. It's not bad, it's kind of like a thicker, more kind of syrupy version of just like an iced coffee. It's not bitter, mildly sweet. It just tastes a lot like the regular Starbucks iced coffee, if you've ever had that out of a bottle before. It almost tastes like a uh, frappuccino, but without all the heavy cream. If you've ever had like a mocha frappuccino before or a caramel frappuccino before, it's good. Mm. It's really tasty, it's really refreshing, really smooth. Not bad. So the big question is, is, is it worth four bucks a can? I guess, you know, if you're gonna go to a Starbucks cafe, you're probably gonna spend over four bucks anyway. So yeah, in that regard, you're gonna save a little bit of money if you buy one, if you want a good shot of caffeine, if you really like the iced coffee, if you're a fan of the nitro, I'd say go for it. Not quite as smooth and not quite as just drinkable, I guess you could say, as the uh, what you get in the coffee shop itself, but it's not bad. It's fine for what it is. All right, one more sip. 
But again, the main thing is that it's not bitter on the back end, and that's something that you don't want if you have yourself a nice coffee. So I'm gonna go ahead and give it a thumbs up for right now. It's not bad. I prefer to get one, you know, from a tapper, obviously, but sometimes just make a nice substitute. So if you want a cold, refreshing coffee, I wouldn't even recommend putting this on ice. It's perfect as is, just right out of the can. So maybe give it a try and see what you think. Four bucks a can is a little bit steep, but it might save you a trip to the uh, to the, uh, to the, to the drive-through and wait times and stuff like that if you pick one up at your local gas station. So Starbucks Nitro Cold Brew in a can. I'm gonna give you two thumbs up. It's pretty tasty, not bad. And uh, anyway, for the channel, we'll have a lot more coffee reviews coming your way. So if you get a chance, try this, tell me what you think. If you like stuff that's a little bit sweeter, a little bit creamier, maybe go for the vanilla sweet cream and go from there. So that's it, guys. That's my take on the Nitro Cold Brew. Good stuff. All right, so I want you guys all to have fun. I want you to be safe, drink lots of coffee. And as you know, we will talk to you soon. All right, take care, have a good one. Bye-bye.